Hey everybody, it has been three months since I streamed for the last time. Uh, no longer doing it regularly, but I had to come back for Drone Day 2022. I'm very happy to be part of this celebration, global celebration of drone tone and experimental music. Um, so the project we're going to be working on today is called The Goth, and this is the second in a series of pieces that are inspired by this weird clip I found from the Gay Burn show in Ireland in 1983. And on the show, he's interviewing four young people uh, from various subcultures. And it's, he's, it's like a little bit sensationalized, but the kids are just like so nice, so friendly, and uh, so just level and calm about who they are and what they're doing and why. Um, so uh, I'm doing one piece for each of the four kids and then uh, young people rather and then uh, at the end it'll be uh, capped off with this uh, psychologist, psychiatrist, social sociologist, whatever he was um, at the end who's basically saying no it's good these kids are healthy these kids are doing this fine. So uh, um, oh hi Evil Kelly nice to see you here. Um, all right, uh, so let's start by like watching the interview um, with the second young person, um, Siobhan, and uh, you'll see kind of what we're working with and what we're working toward. All right, now Siobhan Corrigan, good day to you. And um, what about your parents' attitudes? How do they react? Well, um, like in the beginning, like with shock, oh no, you know. And then uh, like they thought it was like a, f a phase I'd grow out of. So you say, give her this three months or four months, you know? Yeah. But like, I've seen it's gone on so long. Like, they realise that uh, I don't get into trouble or anything like that. And uh, I'm not, hopefully not offending anybody by the way I dress. I'm doing what I enjoy. And, uh, like, uh, they've become used to me in a way, like, you know. They... Yes, you're the eldest of four. I am, yeah. and, and what's the reaction of your brothers and sisters to you? Like, it all depends, <laughs> like, on what kind of um, situation you're in. Because, uh, like, if, if naturally you're being nice to them and here's your money or here's some sweets or something, mm. they're going to be, oh, great, yeah, yeah, great, you know. Mm. But, it, like, uh, if you're um, arguing or anything with them, it's the total opposite, like, stay you and all this, you know, so. And why do you dress the way you do? Why do you...? Well, I like the dress, for a start. And then you're, you're, you're being different, like, you're not just falling in with the usual crowd, like, mm. you know. And uh, then I, I feel quite comfortable in the way I dress, you know. Yes. And what about were, were you? If you were a if you were a punk for four years and you're 19, you must have been. You must have started in school. Yeah. Well, what school were you in? Loretta College. And, and you started this lark in school. Yeah. Yes. And and what was their reaction? Like uh, the well today I got a streak in my hair with some blue in it. I was called down to the head office. And the sister asked me, had I got an operation on the side of my head? <laughs> and I'm, like, we weren't allowed to wear nail varnish. They're still not. But, like, I was uh, wearing this bright green nail varnish from the weekend, and I was trying to hide it. Okay. And I kind of went, oh. I suppose that's so much a uniform, <laughs> you know? Because yeah. I was a green uniform, you know, so. And were you suspended? Well, uh, no, I wasn't. I didn't get into much trouble over that. Yeah, and they, they got used to you too, did they? They did, yeah. They got... Eventually. Yes, yes. So you never had any major disagreement with them. John. Okay, so I actually found uh, that young woman on the internet, I think, and I did tweet at her, but she hadn't tweeted in a few years, so probably didn't see it. I had this vague notion of like talking to her and how cool that might be. So um, one more thing before we get started. I wanted to share uh, what we did last year on Drone Day. Uh, which is uh, the first piece, the punk. So I'm just gonna play this through, and y'all get a y'all get a taste of kind of where we uh, where it is so far, and then we'll go from there after that. How's that? Here we go. <laughs>
till death. Nice. All right, so that's what we did last year, and let's uh, let's pull up the project for this year. I have a little template all made up, and I've preloaded it with a few instruments. Um, one of the instruments we're going to use today that I'm super excited about is this puppy right here, which is a uh, uh, a muffin safe modular synth called the Stargazer. And this particular configuration, these are handmade by a couple of friends in the Pacific Northwest. This particular one, the lavender purple one, um, was a limited edition. I'm pretty sure there are only 100 or 200 of them made. And I'm very happy uh, to, have, uh, to have one here. Um, so switching back over to Logic, you can see I've got uh, a track here for the Stargazer, another track here for the Strike Vet, which is a string synthesizer that we're going to be using. Uh, I've got an Ebo track. If you've seen my show before, you know how I love, love, love the Ebo. And we have space for uh, some flavor crystals here, including my most favorite, the Space Whale. All right, so um, I thought we would start um, by just putting down a really, really, really simple... Uh, kind of rhythm track, um, just something to keep us going. And um, I was going to uh, assign that to a to a kind of glitchy instrument, um, and let that be the base uh, that we that we build everything on. So I'm going. To, I've set it up at, as a uh, as a program drummer. So I'm going to simply add this in here, and we're going to do some tuning on it. Um, but let's uh, set up a cycle region here. And um, and we'll just uh, we'll play with this until we get a sound that we like, and then we'll loop it. So here we go. And we're gonna just shop around for uh, for, for some sounds here. that one. some effects on it, shall we? I don't want it to be uh, to be too too much. And we're gonna bring the volume way down in a second. And let's uh, bring it down to half time. that um, and we're gonna put it in space a little bit so I'm gonna go to a reverb unit and we're gonna go to space designer and we're gonna do something a little twisted with it So 
found some little entries. A little bit interesting. stuff at 120 BPM, so that's what we have. That one I like. And we're going to bring that way down in the mix. Sorry. Alright, and let's, uh, let's just cycle this out. We're just going to make it loop. And I want to go uh, for about uh, three and a half minutes. Let me set up this here so it beats in time. Alright and three minutes and uh, about 321, how's that? So let's pull that back. All right, we're gonna go to there. All right, next up, I wanna lay down a little bit of a drone. So um, we're gonna go to our Stargazer and I'm gonna record on that and let's switch it on. All right, now I want everything in this pot, in this, uh, in this piece to, to a C. So uh, let's see here. I'm gonna just in, um, add a, a placeholder instrument here just so that I can generate tone. We're gonna tune. stuff here and uh, see what happens. So here we go. Let me bring that down. Okay, here comes magic. Thank <laughs> you. 
form our base so let me bring that down here all right um i'm gonna see about doing a little bit of processing on it so i'm gonna mute our drums and i will set up a cycle region with just the stargazer This, uh, this one does. Okay, let's hear it in C2. Just gonna start adding instruments now. Um, one of the other uh, the other synths I wanted to play with today is a Strike Fat uh, string synth, and for this we are going to um, let me see here. Here we go. There and there. And. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is I'm going to latch the sound, meaning I'm just going to I'm going to make it hold the key, and we're going to do some uh, experimenting on the str string sounds here until we get a sound that we like. Oops. 
Just like making a whole bunch of noise. Okay, so um, I'm going to undo those and uh, let's put some let's put some processing on it. Oops. I'm going to solo it and uh, bring up a little cycle region here for where it starts. <laughs> Okay. 
think about putting a stepper on it. And uh, what a stepper does is um, mysterious. Uh, what it does is uh, it's going to modulate for us, add some rhythmic components to it. All right. And I'm going to shop around and see which one. That. And let's put it in space. Okay, how does this sound in C2? got something going here. Now um, I'm going to add some more um, audio uh, tracks, but first thing I wanted to do, I cut a bunch of samples um, from the interview. Um, so I've got all of these uh, lined up here and I want to uh, kind of space them out and um, kind of mix them in. So here we have uh, the host, and I'm just going to solo that. All right, now Siobhan Pardon. All right. All right, now Siobhan Pardon. And that's super, super loud. Why is that so loud? All right, now Siobhan Pardon. All right. And I don't want any effect on it. All right, now Siobhan Carrigan. Right. All right, now Siobhan Carrigan. All right, now Siobhan Carrigan. All right, now Siobhan Carrigan. I want to put it in a room, give it a little tiny bit of space. So what we're going to do there is do a chroma verb. And let's just add some ambiance. All right, now Siobhan Carrigan. That's a bit much. All right, now Siobhan Carrigan. A little much. All right, now Siobhan Carrigan. And the audio quality is pretty bad, but you know. All right, now Siobhan Carrigan. Yeah, that sounds about what I want. Okay, so I'm gonna unsolo that and we're gonna, um, let's zoom in some and see where we want to put that. Let's maybe put it um, here. Let's see. All right, now Siobhan Carlin. Yeah. All right, the next one is our good day to you. All right, now Siobhan Carlin. Good day to you. All right, and I'm just going to start spacing these out. Just, uh, just rough it in. And uh, let's see here. Let's bring that down some. All right, now Siobhan Carlin. Back with shock on the All right. And let's set up uh, 
a little second region this we can play. Sorry, y'all. Should have done this in advance. And user patches, samples, host. Okay. And uh, that one and that one. Okay. All right. Now, Siobhan Carlin. Good day to you. Super loud. Okay, and I think we're gonna bring uh, the percussion down a little bit. It's a little bit loud. This is a really rough man. Okay. And uh, I'm actually going to pick all these. And set them all to... Alright. We're going to set all those to samples. This one. No, we don't want to do that. Uh, let me save this preset. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, samples. HTV. Off. All right. So we're going to uh, let's see what's that one. So all of these, I'm going to set them to that. All right, now Siobhan Carlin. Good day to you. What about your character, Miss Adelaide? I'm just going to keep uh, staging these out here. Uh, right, I'm going to drag them all. And we're going to stagger them. And I'm going to just keep dragging them, space them out about two measures. Maybe not so much. All right, let's see. All right, now Siobhan Carlin. Good day to you. What about your character, Miss Adelaide? Well, then, like in the beginning, like the shock of the night, they leave the toilets like a phaser uh, grove. There's a noise gate on there. There sure is, and I don't want that. Okay. Let's be 
a little choppy. Okay, let's try that again. All right, now Siobhan Cardin. Good day to you. Like a, a phaser grove. Okay, we have to just have to keep uh, keep assigning these. Um, let me do all those real quick, all at once. There's probably a way to do this in unless, but I don't know how to do it. Okay. Let me um let me resave that patch with the Noise get off and the compressor. The compressor is good. Okay. So I'm going to resave this patch. Sorry. There we go. All right, now Siobhan Cardin. Good day to you. Like a, a phaser grove. Basically, like, you know, this treatment's a woman's here. It's gone on so long. Like, they realized that uh, I don't get into Trumer or anything like that. I don't trust the show. Ah, the uh, cursor caught up to me. Let me just bump these out a little bit. Bit. 
Okay, let's pull all these. And put them in place here. And let's stack her. I spent about three hours cutting these samples. I have some other samples uh, that y'all are gonna like too that I'll be uh, doing in just a minute here. As soon as we're done with, uh, with this part. Not sure what this sample is, let's see here. All right, that's the host. So we're just gonna find all these. If I was, if I had been smart, I would have uh, done all this in advance. Oh, can I do that? That. all these so I'm just gonna bring the volume down on them and what's this one Muted. Okay, let's see. All right, now Siobhan Carlin. Good day to you. What about the girl parents actors? How do they do that? Well, then, like in the beginning, like the shock of the moon, these tones, like a phase of growth. Thanks for bearing with me. Okay, let's see how that feels. <laughs> we have to move all these out. Sorry. Here and there. No. Okay. 
I don't know why it's pasted in so far back. Sorry. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and drag these out so that y'all, we don't have to do it uh, one at a time. Bear with me. Close up the grid spacing and help ourselves out here. Not quite that much. Here we go. Okay, let's unmute these. Let's see here. Okay, I'm going to start at the beginning and uh, let's work in advance here. All right, now Siobhan Carlin. Good day to you. I am racing the car. I cut up to me so I'm gonna be doing uh, this a little bit more and why I'm feeling so self-conscious about like doing the work that I'm doing but hey that's the way it goes right I'm gonna try something and see if there's a way I can uh, I can set all these at once let me see Let me do uh, this through that and see if it'll let me do it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do these one by one. Sorry, y'all. User patches, samples, user patches, samples. All right, we're gonna start it over while I go. Sorry about that. Oh, 
All right, now Siobhan Carrigan. Good day to you. What about the girl parents actors? How do they do that? Hi Brian no. Hi Jim Biggs. Stay it's, you it's and I'll you. Stay you and I'll you. Why do you guess me? Well, I like to dress for a start. You know, you're, you're, you're being different. Falling in with the usual crowd like you. And uh, I feel quite comfortable <laughs> when I dress you. And how about the point for you? If you were, if you were born for four years in the 19th, you must have been... You must have started in two. Yeah. And, and you started this lark. All right, I'm feeling pretty good about how the samples are doing. And I uh, want to add in, I'm going to start adding a little bit of stuff. Um, I think I'm going to start with bass. And I've got this uh, massive bass patch here. So let me switch to my here and bump that up. So this is my uh, Lackland bass. I just got it out of the shop um, this week. Um, and uh, this, this patch I have is, is pretty wild. It's massive. And it's got a nice little ring shift on there. And let me try it out some. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna add that in and see how that feels. Here we go. Oops, we are recording over the strike fit again. I do not want to do that. Okay, don't record. Just you. Here we go. Okay. All right, now Siobhan Carrigan. Good day to you. What about the girl parents actors? How do they do that? That was the wrong note. I want all C's here. Here we go. Like a, a phase of growth. Basically, this treatment 
See what happened to our samples. I don't know what's going on with that. And then we'll uh, do a little production on the bass. So, that's some, oops. All right. Where did our samples go? I don't know why I'm not hearing them out here. If you are, if you're born for years in the 19 minutes to be. Yes. So you haven't had any of those to disagree with me. Alright, we're gonna leave those alone for now. I think I uh, I might have messed up some or lost some samples or something, but that's good enough. And uh, so um let's uh, let's do a little production on that bass, shall we? So I'm going to go in here and uh, let's see what we want to do. Let's play with this ring shift a little bit maybe. I'm going to set up a cycle region and solo the bass. Uh, so just here, let me get one of the active parts. <laughs>
Sorry, I'm not uh, able to talk in chat, y'all. Like that. are going to pitch it um, pitch shifter mono and I'm going to shift it up an octave all right now Siobhan Cardin So far, I like in the beginning, like the shock of the moment. These tones, like a phase of growth, like you say, given these treatments and hormones, you know, it's gone on so long. But they realize that uh, I don't get into trauma or anything like that. I do what I enjoy. Thank you. 
up the samples in post. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Um, next up, the instrument I want to bring in is some guitar, and not just any guitar. This is the uh, St. Vincent uh, Music Man Special Edition, and I'm going to use one of my favorite tools, the, uh, where's the camera? There it is, the Ebo, uh, which is an electromagnetic pig. Um, it goes on a string, Let me uh, actually record an ebo here. Here we go. All right, so we're going to add some of this in there. And we'll mix it after. I'm just going to play with it for now. So I'm kind of having trouble hearing it. Let's see. down a little bit. That one's fine. That one's a little loud. And uh, let's bring the glitch product glitch down some. And uh, we'll bring the strike fat down some. Let's see. All right, now Siobhan Carden. More space. Stay tuned. Tune these strings. Okay, here we go. All right, now Siobhan Carden. Thank you. 
To our uh, to our percussion track, we did all kinds of uh, extended itself out really far for some reason. So let's clip that. I want that to be down to there, and uh, let's hear how, how the Ebo sounds uh, on its own. I'm gonna solo it. And we're just gonna do a little production on it. to as always and I'm always there we actually
special thing I wanted to do. I, uh, since this is the Goss and this was 1983, um, I thought, what if we use some kind of iconic, uh, some iconic kind of, uh, bits and pieces, single notes from, uh, some beloved Goth music. So, oops. All right, so we have a uh, beginning of Failure by Swans. A little uh, arp from uh, Skinny Puppy. What else we have? Uh, Host of the Seraphim, Dead Can Dance. A little something from Legendary Pink Dots. Not gonna use that one. Or Susie. Everyone knows this one. Yeah. All right. So uh, let's let's see what we're gonna do here. I think we might want to hold on this one. So let me. Uh, oops. Let's just try it and see what happens. All right, now Siobhan Carlin. Good day to you. What about your parents after this happened earlier? I like in the beginning, like, the shock of oh, no. It's towards like a, a phase of growth. Like you said, you know, these treatments are more than once you It's gone on so long. I may realize that uh, I don't get to true where I'm going back. I do what I enjoy. And uh, I don't want to talk to you about I'm going to do what I trust. I can't even speak to you. Yes, 
Let's, uh, let's give it a listen through, and I think uh, we might end up calling it a day. Um, it's been about an hour and a half, feeling pretty good about what we have so far. Of course, I'm going to do I'm gonna do some post. I'm going to fix whatever was going with the samples, do some mixing. Um, what I do with the stuff that I produce is I always put works in progress in a special playlist on SoundCloud. So you can go to soundcloud.com slash Coraline Ada, all one word. And I will put uh, this version up and all the, uh, all the subsequent versions until I get it to a, a place that, uh, that I feel good about. And uh, I'll be posting on Twitter and Instagram when, uh, when those things go up. So we're going to do uh, what's traditional on my stream here. We're going to take our tink uh, Twinkie break. Uh, Twinkie, of course, a golden cream-filled snack cake. Um, that is uh, just a little light and will probably last uh, through a nuclear war. So I'm going to switch. Yeah. 
I think, uh, I think we're going to call it. Um, I'm going to play a little outro music for y'all, catch up with folks in chat. Thank you so much for being here. And again, I'm doing one of the five pieces for the Irish TV project every year on Drone Day, which is always May 28th and happen to fall on Saturday this year. No one, don't know what it'll be next year. But um, so, yeah, this is a, a big, ambitious five year project that I am super excited about. And uh, thank you all for being here. It means a lot to me. Hope you had fun. Hope you enjoyed seeing uh, the mess that I made live. And uh, I'll talk to you all again soon. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>